dislike my content several times. And instead of me taking this moment to show you actual comments, let me just add these fake comments with fake names. You're just gonna have to trust me about this, guys. That's ridiculous. That's dead. Hundreds of thousands of people behind them. Who? Oh, can you please present an actual argument? Jesus Christ! How much given themselves a name? They call themselves attack helicopters, and they do attack in droves. I have a better name for them. How about their trolls? I understand. You can't accept me, then you're a heliphobe, and you need to check your vehicle privilege. Thank you for being so understanding. <laughs> that's not harassing. That's kind of funny. I mean, come on, that's clearly supposed to be a joke. You don't have to have a stick up your booty about it. If I condone them attacking people you disagree with. Hey, hey, my audience who are watching me right now. Hey, 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 you. Yes, you. You right there on your computer and or phone. I don't condone you going and attacking people I disagree with. Did, did you get that? Because you probably knew that already, but I know 100% of you won't do it. Okay, but seriously, people who watch me by now know I don't condone attacking or harassment, okay? Now we can move on. People, I'm holding you accountable for it. Because it'll be your fault and no one else's, according to your logic. But of course your audience is just going to be like, Oh yes, Master Mardell, we will obey your command. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Number that cat is the best thing about this video, by the way. I just... I just wanted to say that. He tried to interview me. He never researched nothing. Um, he did. So what the fuck are you fucking talking about, you fuck? He in this video. Where are they, Mike? Where are they, Heather? They outside? Watch out, Philip DeFranco might be out there. What you wanted me to do. Greg, I think it's you. I think you like making these videos. I think it's you, buddy. Don't, don't deny it. Don't deny it, Onision. In fact, of the matter is, more often than not, I love giving you people what you want. I love being a part of your lives. And however pathetic it is, making these videos- No, jackass. People called you a pervert because there are teenage girls in your audience. And the potentiality of you more than likely talking about their bodies when they could have been underage. But you didn't care about that, saying, well, what's the big deal? You do the same thing if you were at a public swimming pool. Also, yeah, giving somebody advice, because any random retard on the internet can see a fat girl needs to go on a diet. But when Onision says it, well then it's a valid and reliable opinion, of course. If only you keep trying to tell us you are. Ugh, after watching that shit, I need a shower. Ugh, gross, pasty, red, pimply Onision body. Ugh, oh fuck. Well, I believe most of us know that. Not all of us are Buffalo Bill. What's a fucking lotion in the basket? So exaggerating about cultural appropriation being a frequent or consistent thing that just keeps on happening. And wow, on steroids, huh? My, my, no one's ever used that before to describe anything. So Why do you jump to these conclusions with people wearing these things? Like if someone wanted to dress up as Jesus, which people have multiple, multiple, multiple times. By the way, we're also talking about fictionalized characters here. Whether or not someone else believes in them is really irrelevant here when it comes down to the costume. Hello there everyone, today's video will be a little bit different than the norm because instead of focusing on something negative or critiquing something, although having its place, just every once in a while it feels a bit more refreshing to talk about more positive and uplifting things for a change. Let us be hippies for a brief moment, take a deep breath and get some good vibes going. We all have our own ways of relaxing when it comes to dealing with stress, anxiety, or depression. Sometimes it can just be little things that can help us feel better about ourselves or help put in perspective that stuff we find to be so common has a tendency to be taken for granted. So every now and then I try to remember that when you find yourself in a rough situation or stuff around you starts to accumulate, to take it slow, take it a step at a time, and to enjoy small things that you're fortunate enough to have. However, I understand that there are people who find themselves in much more severe circumstances than others. It varies from person to person depending on the people around you, mental problems, financial issues, the list can and always will go further on. We all know life can be a roller coaster of chaos, that's a pretty obvious statement that doesn't really need to be said, but it's true nonetheless. 
So whatever strife is going on in your life, from me to you, I hope all goes well. I hope you bounce back and are able to resolve whatever conflict or struggle you're having to go through. One thing that helps me keep my mind somewhat at ease is listening to people who I enjoy talk about their experiences and what advice they have to give. It feels good to be able to at least relate to someone having them show their humanity and find that you're not always going to be alone. Whether to be able to at least relate to someone having them show their humanity and find that you're not always going to be alone. Whether it just be words of encouragement or them just sharing their thoughts and putting them out there, sometimes it can help. Probably.